One announced a special commercial-free benefit concert you can see across all Fox programming. The iHeart Living Room Concert for America airs this Sunday at 9 p.m. Eastern. It's hosted by Elton John. It'll feature performances from Alicia Keys, Billie Eilish, Mariah Carey, Tim McGraw, and many more. Again, that's this Sunday, 9 p.m. Eastern, on any television station with the name Fox in it, and that would include this one. So many Americans are looking for things to do while stuck at home for some indeterminate amount of time. We're about to talk to Barstool's Dave Portnoy about what he's been doing to stay busy. But first, one popular product from the 80s and 90s is making a comeback. In fact, it's now sold out just about everywhere. Proper suction is the key to getting great-looking haircuts with no cleanup. People mocked it. Now you wonder why. Barstool's Dave Portnoy has one. He joins us tonight. Dave, you look very... The floor base has been good for you. <laughs> so wait, before you say anything, I have to ask you about your purple pants. About 15 people have contacted me today and asked me to ask you, are you wearing purple trousers and why? Oh, yeah, you can see them there. Uh, hopefully, I can, I, we're doing this remote, so hopefully you could see that. But yes, I am wearing purple sweatpants. Um, I just start wearing them every day because what's the point of changing pants if you're not going outside? And then I decided this would be kind of my uh, fight against Corona. Corona will not make me waste pants. Um, they just won't. So I'm going to wear these pairs of pants. I only have one, my purple sweatpants, till the quarantine is lifted. Uh, the bigger question is, am I washing the pants, which occasionally I am. But yeah, I just wear the same pants every single day. <laughs> I'm glad one man is taking a stand against this scourge. So what else are you doing with the pants on? Uh, I'm day trading, Tucker. So I've never done that before. Uh, I, I like to bet on sports. <laughs> sports are gone. So I have set up a little bell in my office. 9.30, I ring it, and I go to work just day trading the crap or the stock market. I took a financial beating because uh, I think you know a company, Penn National, bought a good portion of Barcelona sports. Well, it turns out this pandemic is not good for the casino business because they're closed. So I said, I'm going to day trade yeah. my way out of this thing. It's not working. I have a fat guy today that works for me. And I asked him every day what he likes. And he gave me a cheesecake factory. And that, that didn't do well. And they just said that they're actually not going to pay their rent. <laughs> so you're losing a cheesecake factory. How much? Now we yeah. don't know how long this is going. How much money do you expect to lose day trading by the end of it? Oh, I uh, I'm optimistic. I'm trying to win. I'm about even. I mean, it's ebbs and flows. I, I'm firmly convinced. When the market's going down, there's people getting rich. When the market's going up, there's people getting rich. I'm trying to get the ebbs and yes. flows, and then I got. Three million knuckleheads saying, I told you to do this, I told you to do that, and I'm just dependent on my fat guy, Glenny Balls. He says, when lunchtime hits, people get hungry, order Shake Shack, and that's what I invest in. Can't you just watch Netflix like everyone else? Yeah, here's my here's my TV schedule. I have that down as well. I watch one movie a day, a new one, and then I'm watching The Office over and over, just cycling through the seasons. It never gets old. You know, that sounds like a pretty good schedule, I got to say. Day trading, watching movies, wearing purple pants. I don't know what's going to happen yeah. to this country. I don't know where the virus is going, but I'm pretty sure Dave Portnoy will emerge stronger from this experience. You've given us all heart. Dave Portnoy, thanks so much. Thanks for having me.